Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to have a transparent nav at the top of the page that when you scroll changes color to a solid color. Also changes when you open the drop down or the menu on tablet and mobile. So how does this work? Well, you can see on the body here, we've got a data hero image attribute that equals true data scrolled equals false and data menu open equals false. So check out what happens when I scroll data scroll changes to true the menu nav bar turns white. Same thing when the menu opens, data menu open equals true. Everything goes white. And if I take away the true value from data hero image, the nav bar goes white. So let's take a look at how this works within Webflow. So here I've got my nav bar, which I've copied across from Reloom. I've gone ahead and removed all of the different uh, numbers that were there. And then I've added some custom CSS and JavaScript. So Let's first take a look at the CSS. Looks like there's a bit here, but it's not too difficult. So basically this body data hero image true is a CSS selector. And when this is true, this navbar component will have the color of white, which means the links will be white and a background color of transparent. Then when the page is scrolled or when the menu is open, the, the navbar component will have a color of black, which is the nav link color and a background color of white. So here's where you can adjust the color of the background and of the nav links. This is a little bit of CSS that basically means that you can manage the nav link and the drop down toggle from a single spot. Uh, it disregards what's in the Webflow style panel and is it, it means that it can be set from these colors here. So this color and this color. Um, is what the nav bar, the nav bar link and the nav bar drop down toggle will inherit. And then I've also added the hover state uh, here because when you use this, uh, you have to control the hover state with code. But what this means is that although you are using code to control it or CSS, it means that you only need to update it in one place uh, for both the link or the drop down. And then we have the option for an SVG logo. So if the logo is an SVG, which is this one here, you can see there's the embed. Um, that's white when the data hero image is true. And then when it's scrolled or when the navbar logo, uh, navbar drop down toggle is expanded, it sets the color to black. So basically these are the conditions um, that cause the logo to change. For PNG logos, um, you have a bit of a different structure. There's this navbar logo wrapper dash is PNG. And this has two logos in it, one white, one black that are positioned absolutely. So they're positioned directly over each other. And when we scroll down the page, we use the Z index to bring the one that's behind it to in front. And that basically covers the CSS. And then in the JavaScript, what we've got going on is that we've got some selections of the elements, set the default attributes to false. And then we have a scroll listener that says when you get to 10 rem, which is 10 by 16, from the top of the page, set data scrolled equals to true. That causes those CSS selectors to uh, trigger and the CSS updates. And we have a similar thing for the menu. Basically, we just check if the menu button's clicked and then we toggle the state. And yeah, pretty much as easy as that. So you copy the Reloom component across, you can copy this navbar component or navbar code component across into the project, rename all of the classes. And by rename, you just need to remove the number of the navbar that you copied from Reloom. And then the last thing is to go to the body elements of the page and set data hero image equals to true. If this is anything other than true, you'll see that it immediately, because it's CSS, immediately changes in the editor. Um, the scroll won't work because that's running from the JavaScript. But other than that, it's pretty pretty easy to get to a, a nav bar that changes on scroll, drop down toggle, or when the menu is open on tablet. If you have any questions, happy to answer them. Um, I'll make this clonable and I'll put that in the description. And I hope that this is easy for you. It took me a bit of time to figure out, but now it's super easy to just copy across into any new project for when I have a, a hero image or a video uh, on the hero section. Um, and yeah, I think it looks, 
looks a little bit cleaner to have have the nav bar transparent and then just that nice little nice little touch so yeah i hope that helps and that's a wrap thank you